Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this is my third take. I really want to get this short and sweet because I really want whoever's seeing this not to get bored and really get the message that I'm trying to give and really get my situation. I'm going to talk from my personal experience. I didn't know if I was going to pay rent today, and I did. I needed 400 bucks, and I got it. And I feel amazing. Not This wasn't something that I accomplished. This was money lent to me by a source that I did not know could or would. And I wasn't expecting that act of kindness from me. And I am forever grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Very, very grateful for that. My friend, uh, David, David, if you ever watch this, thank you. I really, really, really did appreciate that. And let me talk a little bit more about why I appreciate it. I know it must be obvious, someone lending you money. But I want to talk a little bit more about the circumstances. So, back in December, I had a little errand to do out of the country. And I had to pay rent twice. So, that was a big dip in my savings. But I also had more savings because I wanted to go back. When I come back here in January, it was one month I was away. I wanted to go hard on my business. I really wanted to go hard in that business. I really, really wanted to go hard in that business for three months. But in that month I was over there, I already had like my expenses planned out. So I, had, I brought my money out of the country, all good. And my uh, I had $3,000 saved up, 1000 per month, living, you know, really like way below my means and living frugally. I was, I was like, this is done. Like three months, I'm good. I'm good three months. I can launch off. I lent that money to my father. And I lost it. He was in a bad situation. And he still is. And I lent that money. And I expected it to go, you know, for him to pay me back. He told me he was. I gave him my word. I gave, he gave me his word and I took him on it. And he, he was homeless. Well, how can I, say no and he was going to get a settlement money how could i how could i not root for him you know how gonna how me being a son not want to help someone who gave life to me and who was there when he could you know so going back to everything yeah so i did not get that money back um he not that he couldn't pay me back is that he did get the money but then he bought a car with it which is not understandable okay but afterwards he spent all the rest of the money and never paid me back and never will <laughs> but, but hey it is what it is you know water under the bridge but you know i'm never I'm never lending money again <laughs> well he's not in that situation now yeah it really did hurt that really did hurt i never show it but that really did hurt you can't you can't kill me with that. You can't let yourself be down because of that. I know it must have for anybody else for you know, just saying it sounds horrible, like a really gut gut punch. You know. And I told him, like, hey, I really need that money for rent, for food. And I was in the same situation as he was, and the thing is I didn't get the help that that I gave him. I didn't get it back. That was I got ghosted. He saw his, he saw the messages, but he never responded back. I'm trying to make light of the situation, but it was a really shitty situation. So this time, I just asked a couple friends, "Hey, do you have some have some cash, and I'll I'll pay you back once I get my paycheck from the job and all that." And I got really, one really good friend, friend of my mother's, a family friend, and he was able to lend me some money, and I really do appreciate that. And with that, I was able to get food food enough for me to continue working and with the money that i was planning on getting from the job i don't know if you've seen all my other videos but bi-weekly paycheck paycheck sucks in any case i'm not able to like even though i'm working like if i work this week if or two weeks the last week is goes into the next paycheck so technically I have to work 30 days if you think about it to get not 30 days, but like 20 days to get what I worked. It's, it's horrible at the start. And yeah, in any case, 
thank you. Thank you, God, universe, whoever, whoever you want to call it. But it's the person that gives me the, this trial. And this trial is meant for positivity and seeing light and hope when there is no light and hope. And I was going to give them 300 bucks. My landlords, 300 bucks. All like basically everything I had. And I was going to be without food for, for two weeks until I get my other paycheck, my weekly paycheck. And yeah, now they lend me that 400. So I'm able to pay rent and not completely, but enough for them to be off my back. And food will, I'll see what I can do. But I'll make it. I'll make it. I know. I don't know how, but I'll make it. And yeah, you just have to be positive. And while I was listening to a song by Cancerbero, which is a Spanish rapper, it's uh, "Y la felicidad que." What about happiness? And the chorus goes like, "All we need is love and hope. All we need is love and hope. All we need is love and hope." Yeah, that's it. All you need is love and hope. I, I love my friends. I hope for the best. And they helped me out. I, I just said to him jokingly, hey man, you got like 400 bucks and I'll pay you 500 on when, when I get my paycheck. He's like, hey man, don't worry about it. I'll see what I can do. And he got it. He got it for me today. And he's in the, he was in, he's in a, not in a worse situation than I am. Of course, it's not a really bad situation, but he isn't in a good situation either. He's like, he, he just paid rent scrap like he got the scraps or whatever he can good and whatever he could and gave it to me wow that's that's incredible i think this is a test to see who is real in your life and who isn't who is meant to be close to you and who is not and how do you respond to stress and i think i know how i respond now and i think i'm more confident in how i will respond in the future thank you that's everything